everyone, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. I look an absolute state right now. Um, sorry I haven't been active on YouTube for probably months now. Um, so much has been going on, and um, I've actually been practicing a few looks on myself. Um, just to try to get more like confidence and like, you know, get better at what I do. Um. Yeah, the first thing I will say is with makeup, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be like these like big Broadway shows, you know, where you get people like, you know, doing their makeup to perfection and stuff. Like it doesn't need to be like that. A makeup look can be simple, it can be glamorous, it can be perfect. It doesn't have to be the best. Um I think society has changed a lot of people's views on makeup like you have to look a certain way you have to look a certain like weight like it, like no everyone is beautiful and personally I believe in doing makeup uniquely so what I mean by that is you know whilst there's all these videos of like how to do tutorials like how to do makeup it should be about what you like and what you want to do and I've always said if people don't like your makeup and people don't like what you do so, like, so, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not the end of the world because someone doesn't like the makeup that you do. Um, I used to get really, really, like, annoyed with people's comments on my YouTube channel uh, back when I done videos. If someone said to me, you know, oh, I don't like your makeup, I would have been like, um, you know, back then it would have annoyed me so much to the point that it affected my confidence, it affected my self-esteem and... It's probably one of the reasons I stopped doing it for a while as well. Um, but then I thought about it and I was like, so what? People don't like what you do. Like, not everybody's going to like what you do. Not everybody likes you. And that's okay because everybody's human. So I think that's just a really important message to say to you before I start this video. Um, don't follow the crowd. Like, don't feel like, you know, you have to be this big, like, fashion icon. Like, you don't. Like, I'm sorry. You don't. It's so overrated. And, like, the past couple of months I haven't done any videos I have realized that I have realized that it doesn't matter what other people think at the end of the day you do you and you do what makes you happy it doesn't matter about other people's opinions if someone turns around and makes a comment about you know you haven't done your eyeliner right you haven't you know you've too much foundation on you know your face is too dark say la vie like that is my honest attitude right now say la vie it does not matter because as long as you like it and as long as you enjoy doing it doesn't matter what other people say so before i start i just want to make that very clear to you that whoever watches this video if you watch one of my videos and you don't like it can you please keep your comments to yourself unless it's nice because there is so much negativity even currently in this world with the whole pandemic and everything else going on around us that really all people need is positivity and a little bit of a boost so enough talking about me um, I hope that light's not too bright. I don't have the best lighting. Um, I'm kind of trying to work on my own studio at the minute, like ideas to like make my videos really good. You know, like lighting, like camera stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now because this isn't a video for me to talk. This is a video for me to do my makeup. So today I'm going to be doing a simple everyday makeup look. Um. It's nothing big, it's nothing glamorous. I've actually learned how to do a cut crease on the eye. Um, it's not been easy. Like it's really, really difficult and even when you're doing videos it can make it worse because you know your nerves and like yeah, that it could put you off a lot. So I'm not gonna be negative in this video. I'm gonna try to be as positive as I can be, like for the sake of you and myself. Um so yes, yeah, so obviously I've already put my foundation on. I've really squeaky tire, sorry. Um, obviously I've already got my foundation on, I don't think I need to show you how to put foundation on. Um, I will show you the foundation that I have used, it's collection and it's lasting perfection, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and this one I just bought, I think it was Superdrug, like they have really good makeup. Um, and it's actually up to 16 hours wear, so even if like you're out for a night out, like you're guaranteed to have this on for at least 16 hours. And this is only up one base, like this is not two coats, this is one base. Of this foundation and it's actually really good and it's number 12 in the toffee color so i would like 
be tan like I would be quite swirly in my skin like I'm not a pale person so whenever I go to buy makeup it has to be makeup that suits my skin tone otherwise what's the point in buying it but you get these people that like buy like these like really stupid foundations and like they're like not even anywhere near their skin colour and it just looks really really silly but again person likes it I'm not going to judge so because I've already put my foundation on I'm now going to go to the next step and I'm going to do my eyebrows now my eyebrows sorry it was glass of coke that wasn't very professional um my eyebrows are quite bushy um they're quite you know they don't really need a lot of filling in because they're already quite defined as they are they always have been um so for that reason i don't intend to make them stupid looking basically um so when i'm doing my eyebrows i actually have always got this tip and it's actually a tip that i learned from one of the makeup videos I watched if you're filling in your eyebrows they should always be the colour of your hair so for example because my hair is black my eyebrows should be black um, because it looks a bit silly if you've black hair and brown eyebrows now again who am I to judge but that's my own personal opinion um, you still probably all know that my videos are very personal to me they're quite unique um, so I don't tend to follow the crowd like I watch videos you know for like inspiration and stuff but I don't rely on them to make me look good like I would take inspiration from them and create my own looks Um, I'm not really someone to go oh I like that look I'm going to do that today to know that way it's more of okay there's a video there's some inspiration I can do a look based on that look it's not the white fall in the cry guys it's not so I'm going to just without talking I'm going to just lightly do my eyebrows now there is a choice you can use um eyebrow uh, or eyeshadow for your eyebrows ideally you should use an eyebrow pen but i currently am out of those so i need to buy that um which is why i'm using literally an eyebrow palette so it's i wanted it's an eyeshadow collection it doesn't matter what eyeshadow you use you know you get these people that show you like oh i'm using like the finest eyeshadow like it no it's down to what you like so just remember that so without me talking i'm just going to apply my eyebrows now, as I've said, my eyebrows are quite dark already, so they don't really need to find any more. But to make them stand out and to make them go with the look that I'm going to create, it would look nice. So you can probably see, probably not due to the crap lighting that I have, um, that they're darkening already. Okay, so I'm just very lightly. And the key is when you're doing your eyebrows to actually like almost like lift your eyebrows up, you know, rather than like having them like this because it's very hard to like get them aligned and like, you know, like get them in the right like position. So I always say a top tip is to actually lift them so you can actually see that they are going in the right direction and one doesn't look, you know, worse than the other essentially. So I'm just really just filling them in just to give them a bit of a defined look. Again, it's not something that you have to do. It's not something that, you know, is necessary. But it does make the look a lot nicer. Um, So because I've already got my foundation on and I've got my eyebrows more or less done, I'm now going to move on to the eyeshadow. I have about 50 palettes of eyeshadow. Like, I'm not even joking. I have this one. I have this one. I probably have like 50 somewhere else and I don't even use half of them but the point is so this is pretty please this is just a simple eyeshadow palette again doesn't matter what palette you use it's all how you use it so I've got a variety of colors here I don't know if you guys can see them or not but it ranges from like a like a nude color to like a brown like a dark brown and this is like a glitzy glam type look you know it's it's everyday makeup but it's like quite glamorous as well so first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for like a dark brown and I'm just going to use my eyebrow pencil or my sorry my eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to try and get as much onto the brush as I can and then I'm just going to close my eyes and I'm going to quite carefully just apply start applying the eyeshadow. Now bear in mind guys this is my first video since I have decided to stop doing them months ago. So I'm a little bit nervous because I have a thought, like an idea 
of how I want this look to turn out and sometimes it doesn't always turn out that way which let's face it can be quite disappointing but you need to remember when you're videoing yourself it can also be very nerve-wracking which could put you off a lot so my advice is when you're videoing yourself or you're wanting to do a channel of some sort do not let the nerves get ahead of you like just be yourself just be as confident as you can and try and be as positive as you can as well because it really brightens people's days up when you're positive so I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to get back to my makeup so I'm just closing the eye very carefully and I'm just applying a little bit of eye shadow to the crease of my eye now for those of you who are wondering what the crease of your eye is it's like the top base of your eye so I'm actually using this brush in more or less circular motions as such now it's a bit messy at the minute it looks a bit messy but it's not going to be I promise it's going to look lovely so I don't know how many people know about this but using concealer is and my blusher has just fallen to the floor and um, using concealer is also very good for makeup as well because that's what you know defines it um, and what I do is I don't just you know whack it on I like apply the smallest bit of concealer just the bottom of my eyelid because what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to blend it into the eye so as you can see I've applied it to more or less the base of my eyelid and I'm going to just do the same very gently on the other eye now I blink an awful lot so it can be very frustrating when I'm trying to do this so I've now applied the concealer base under the crease of my eyelid what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my blender brush. I'm sorry guys, it's very dirty. So I'm going to try and show you the less dirty side. And I'm going to just very carefully blend it into my eye. Now it doesn't always work out this bit. This is actually the hardest bit, getting it blended. Um, But it looks lovely when it's done. And I'm not even joking, it looks lovely. Um, So, and it's very visible as well. You know, you can kind of see it there. And I'm just going to do it in the other eye as well. So you're very carefully with my absolutely atrocious dirty brush you're very carefully blending it into your eye to actually mix with the color of the crease on your eye okay so i don't know if you can see that or not the lighting is really bad today so i'm so sorry about that um and then you're just going to do the same thing you're going to apply the same amount of eyeshadow and you're just going to this time just again circular motions just above your eye where your crease is um the crease guys just for you that don't know what it is is basically the top part of your eyelid so it's like this part um and whenever you're doing a crease it's really important that you can hold the brush right now this takes practice like whenever i first watched the first video of a tutorial i was like yeah i'm never going to be able to do that but actually i can do that now because i've literally all it takes is practice that's all it is and i'm just very carefully applying it to my eye now it actually looks really nice because this is more of like a smoky brown colour that I've used and then I've put concealer on the base of my eyelid to like mix in with the colour. So I have to say that I'm actually quite proud of myself for how this is turning out. It's actually quite nice. And I know you guys can't really see it because you know due to the lighting it's absolutely crap. But it looks really nice already. Okay so I've more or less applied, um, so I've got the foundation on, I've got my eyebrows defined, I've got concealer on the base of my eyelid, a little bit blended in with the, the beauty blender and then um, like a briny smoky eye type colour to go on top of the concealer. So now what I'm going to do is now that I've done all this I'm going to do the funnest part which is the eyeliner. Now I'm just using a very basic uh, Olivia Kiel, I don't even know who that is, I picked it up in some shop. It's a liquid eyeliner and it's the best eyeliner. Not only is there so much in it and I still haven't used half of it, but it's really good because it's waterproof. So whenever I'm out, like, I need a drink, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's better. See, when I talk too much, my throat gets dry and then I need to have a drink. It's not very professional, but there you go that's what makes your videos unique um so yes so this is obviously liquid eyeliner now you see when i was doing eyeliner right i used to always actually close my eyes but a tip is not to because whenever you close your eyes it can take so long for the eyeliner to dry that it can become like all smudgy and stuff so to avoid that smudginess and to avoid that issue i'm not going to close my eye i'm just going to keep my eye as open as i can and 
at the start it's actually really frustrating because you're kind of going sometimes it is easier to close my eyes so I might actually just close my eyes but if I do close my eyes I hold my eye like this because then I can actually get a straight line on my eye to apply my eyeliner now it might look a bit messy at the start but when the whole looks complete it is nice and I'm just going to show you guys whenever I've done this this is more of like a a wing eye type look so I'm going to sit back just a wee bit because again I don't know if you can see it or not but this is basically the top where I've applied the eyeliner so it's more like a like a wing so like whenever I'm doing eyeliner I've like pushed it out a bit you know so it looks better um and I'm going to do the same on the other eye as well I'm just going to apply it it's not very quick you know you can take your time with it because I mean the more time you take the more better the more professional it looks so And sometimes my hand can be really shaky as well, so I don't always get the best result. So if I kind of close my eye, that might make it a bit more easier to see. And then if I close my other eye, it also might make it a bit easier to see. So that's the eyeliner applied. Nothing too complicated. I'm not doing big dramatic eyes. I'm literally keeping it very simple. Um, I'm now going to apply the blusher. Um, so this is just casual um, maxi blush. So... I'm going to just use my blending brush to apply some blusher on my cheeks. So whenever you apply blusher, it's really important that, okay, my advice, don't use a big thick brush, but apply it like this and then very carefully dab it and just like rub it on your cheek, just like so. And then just do the same on the other end. Now, due to my lighting being absolutely rubbish, you probably can't see much of this, but... I actually think it looks quite nice and I'm actually quite proud of myself and just very carefully just dab it in because you know you don't want to look like a clown let's be honest um so yes and because I have done quite a defined smoky eye look I'm now going to apply some uh lipstick and this is purple lipstick obviously to go with the look uh that I've chosen to do today um I can't believe my video is 17 minutes long already like that's not even doing makeup like that's just talking absolute crap for most of it that is the sorry my video keeps cutting off not your picture right that is the lipstick applied it's more of a lip gloss actually um and yeah, that's it. I haven't put any mascara on because my uh, my eyelashes currently have um, an allergic reaction to um, mascara. So I can't wear mascara at the moment, unfortunately. So just in case any of you are wondering why I haven't put mascara on. So the look that I've chosen today is a simple everyday makeup look, but it's a bit of glam to it with the definer of the eyeliner and also the lipstick. Um, if I had just done a face of makeup with a bit of mascara and a bit of uh, eyeshadow, that would have been a natural everyday look. But I kind of changed my mind halfway through the video and was like, I actually want to add more to this because now I'm getting into it a wee bit. Um, so, yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, just to like go over the products that I've used. So, Last and Perfection um, Everyday Foundation, easily picked up in any supermarket. I think this was like a tenner, probably wasn't even a tenner, but it's brilliant foundation. Um, again, doesn't really matter foundation that you buy, but ideally it should be foundation that suits your skin tone best. This little eyeshadow palette which I used for my eyebrows, again I should have used an eyebrow pencil, but I don't have that. So I used this colour for eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, eyebrows, and I used an eyebrow, an eye, an eye brush, what the heck, an eyebrow pencil, I didn't even use an eyebrow pencil, I used I can't even think of the name, but you know what I mean. Um, I used this brush for blending the um, blusher. I also forgot to mention to you guys, I actually currently use this cream, so I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's um, Vitamin E Skincare Moisturising Day Cream from The Body Shop. I love The Body Shop. You know, like all fragrance stuff, I love all that. Um, but the reason I'm showing you this is because for good skincare, you should actually apply this before you do a video. 
um, not even before you do a video, it should actually be applied before you have makeup on because it makes your skin like glow a little bit and also keeps it moisturised because whenever makeup goes on it can pour the skin a lot um, and can cause things like acne and like pimples and trust me it's they're not very nice, I've a history of acne and face problems so don't be getting me started on that please. Um, so the next thing I've used is literally concealer, now this is just L'Oreal, I also love L'Oreal. Um, another thing my makeup actually doesn't match so you know bits and bobs of different things which I think is actually not a bad thing. So perfect match concealer to obviously do the base of my eyebrows. Um, blusher for obviously my face, just simple blusher. Um, this little uh, brush which is a mess I need to clean, apologies, um, to do my um, blending on the eyes. Um, this lipstick stay matte, it's um, liquid lip colour so it's more of a lip colour as opposed to lip stain as opposed to lip gloss or lipstick and it's the colour purple to go with the look. Um, and yeah guys obviously I think that's everything that I've covered Um, this is just obviously for makeup um, to apply eyeshadow so you know you've got this part of the brush to apply eyeshadow and then you've got this part of the brush to blend in. Blend in. Um, so yeah the lip, the lip that I've chosen just to confirm is um, I'm a bell around me looks like I'm so distracted. Um, the look that I have chosen is just a simple everyday makeup, glimpsy glam type look. Um, I will be hopefully posting more videos the more experience I get. Um, I'm really hoping that over the next couple of weeks I start doing more videos. Um, because I have missed it. I have missed you know getting myself out there and doing these. Um, so if any of you have any questions, just feel free to comment below, and I will try and respond. Um, in terms of my social medias, which you should give a follow, now I have no content on it about makeup, but I hope to have in the next couple of months when I get better. Um, is my Instagram is Kiva Dobbin underscore, and even if you just type in Kiva Dobbin, it should come up. Um, I mean you all know what I look like, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, my Facebook's Kiva Dobbin, and uh, my Snapchat's Kiva, what is it? Kiva underscore Dob nineteen. So there are my social media platforms just in case you guys like my videos and want to maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel so it's at Kiva Dobbin or um, if you want to follow my Instagram or Facebook or uh, something like that you just have the names of my social media. Yeah I'm actually quite proud of this look although the lighting's crap because I can see it better than you guys it actually looks quite nice it's quite you know it's blended in well and um, doesn't look silly. So I'm going to cut this video now because it's been 22 minutes long and I've been talking more than I've been doing a tutorial to be honest. But then again I haven't been on it in months so it's probably just getting used to coming back to you guys again. Um, Yeah so any questions do refer them below and also just try and remember that I've asked for people not to post negative comments because it can, it can damage someone's confidence and their self esteem. So my advice just don't post at all if you've nothing nice to say, say nothing. Um, and that's not me being right, that's me respecting myself and also not wanting to feel crap about my videos. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you all have a lovely, I don't even know what day it is, Monday and I hope to link in with you guys soon. Bye!